Mark your calendars, ladies and gentlemen, June 11th. It's a very important date and you're gonna need to know why. So let's jump right into it. Right now, in America, there is a shortage of veterinarians. We have such a massive shortage that by 2030, we're gonna be looking at filling a vacancy of 41,000 roles in veterinary sciences. That is a big problem for our food industry. We're talking large animal vets across the board are falling out of this industry at 16%. They have a re retention rate of 16%. That means people are walking away from this profession because of the high stress, long hours, and it's just a, an incredibly difficult job to do, especially for large animal vets that are constantly on the move, having to buy very expensive tools, have very expensive vehicles to get their stuff around to these big farms, to be taking care of these animals, to bring them to production, to bring them to your table. Therefore, it's a very dangerous thing what the government is doing right now. On January, or January, I'm sorry, on June 11th of this year, our government is making it illegal for our farmers in America to purchase over-the-counter microbials, antimicrobials, from any of their farm stores. So you're talking about, uh, in the prepper community, you're talking about your fish mox, aqua mox, if, you can, if it has a moxicillin in it, you are now gonna have to have a prescription from a licensed veterinarian to be able to re get these products. So this is just one aspect of it. When you look at the farming thing and you look at how many vets there aren't and people can't even build a relationship with a veterinarian to purchase these things, you're gonna start to see how big farms are going to be taking over and the small family farms are gonna be falling off because a lot of these small family farms can't afford to have a big animal vet come out and fix their problems every time they have an issue. So they're constantly studying, researching, and, and teaching themselves all these different things and the different diseases of the animals that they care for on their property so they can have the medicines on hand to make sure that their animals are staying healthy and safe while they're living on their farms. I know this as a fact because I've been a farmer now for quite a few years and we had to go through the entire learning curve when it came to small ruminant animals. Goats are not something that most veterinarians have to learn too much about in vet school. So if you're going to get into a small ruminant farming aspect of anything, you better know what you're doing. You better do a lot of research and you better understand what kind of animal you're getting because a lot of your vets don't know what they're doing or don't know what they're talking about when it comes to small ruminant animals. And that's not a hit to vets, it's just something that I, from what I understand, talking to veterinarians, they don't get taught that too much in school or it's a very short passing class that they have to take one time and then they move on to something else. So keep this in the back of your mind, your food cost is gonna be a little bit higher now because these over-the-counter drugs are gonna be costing the farmers more, whether that's corporate farms or small family farms. So it's just another hit to your food production here in America. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to make your voices heard. You need to let the government know that you're tired of this stuff and you're tired of them doing things that are making your life harder for you down the road. My name's John. Stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you a lot of information.